Have you ever heard of something called the widow's penalty? Well, here to talk with me about this is Bill Harris, author of a new book called Inheriting Your Spouse's IRA. Bill, welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having me on. So I didn't know that widows face a, uh, a penalty. Tell us about it. Well, they do, but I just want to have a little nostalgic. Remember when you first got married and then you did your first tax filing and you like ended up there was a marriage penalty. Well, <laughs> it, uh, they, now they have the crosshairs on the widows. So yeah, there is a, there's a widow's tax and a lot of people don't realize it. Um, and it's, 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 it's kind of, it's powerful. I mean, it hits them pretty hard. So um, it, the, the first year after someone's died, they, they file as it's still filing as a joint, but that second year is, is when they're filing a loan, um, they start to really get whacked with taxes. They didn't realize Tr- typically, you know, once one spouse dies, a lot of times they had rental income and dividend income and things like that. And, and um, while they may lose some social security and a pension may decrease, they're also losing a huge standard deduction. The standard deduction gets cut in half. So oftentimes people end up in a higher tax bracket when they when they're married. So someone you think of someone under under forty thousand making forty thousand of income a year, um, you know, it, they're they're in the twelve percent tax bracket if they're married. But if they're single, they're now in the twenty two percent tax bracket. So they're immediately whacked with a ten percent hit. And it, it gets even uglier because Social Security starts to become taxable at certain levels. And it can be anywhere from 50 to 85 percent of their Social Security can become taxable if they get over that threshold. And then uh, Medicare doesn't miss out on it either. Uh, so, we're, you know, a couple might have been under a threshold for a surcharge. And now a person who's single might all of a sudden get hit with a big surcharge. And uh, so, I mean, these are just some, this is what the widow's tax is. It's a real thing. Most people get hit with it and it's a surprise yeah. and, 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 and you got to plan for it. You mentioned in the book too, that sometimes RMDs become even larger because of now having a, a larger balance that one person has to draw on. Exactly. And you can't stop it. You know, once you hit that age 72, you got to take it out. And that, that can, you know, it's almost like a tax trap. Like you can avoid taking out any money of your IRA until that age 72, but then all of a sudden you're forced to do it. And again, it can cause all kinds of problems. So yeah, that's another trap as well. Uh, a lot of times it's not a lot you can do, but uh, preparing for it is, I think, the best thing to do. Uh, my advice is couples should be preparing for this way before there's an event, but it, it's a real thing to plan around. Yeah, you mentioned in the book uh, ways to tame it. Um, I'm curious, aside from planning for it, what sort of planning strategies can people uh, consider? Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Roth conversion. Uh, And and so if you can get uh, early on, uh, start doing conversions along the way, like, you know, it's, it's very painful to do you know, take a huge IRA and do a big conversion. But if you do a little bit along the way, you can lower that income amount. So I, I think that's probably one of the bigger areas that I, I think can lessen it. Um, and again, I think waiting for social security and stuff like that can keep income levels down, but uh, at some point it, there might not be a lot you can do, but I, I think the biggest one is the Roth conversion, but the Roth, the Roth conversion is tough, Bob. I mean, no one likes to pay taxes now. Um, CPAs tell people don't pay taxes now, wait. Um, and I can see that argument as well. So um yeah. So um, before we wrap up, there's one thing in your chapter here that you mentioned that I think is little known by most people because they're unaffected by it. But you talk about the, the surtax on net investment income. I know it doesn't affect everyone, but uh, anything that folks can do to plan um, for that uh, as they think about the widow's penalty? Yeah, I mean, there's a threshold. They got to get hit with it, and if they're at the higher income levels, they're going to pay an extra was it 3.8 percent tax. And so uh, again, it's uh, I, I you catch me off guard, but I think it was 250 for married couples, and then 200 thousand for a single. So that's not a big difference, you know. It's not, it didn't go, it didn't get cut in half. It just lowered it a little. So some people that are in that threshold, like I said, a lot of couples, when one of them dies, their income levels can, can kind of remain pretty similar to where they were. And so a lot of them get hit with that 3.8% surtax. It's pretty common on the higher level, higher earners, yeah, wealthier couples. Well, uh, you know, uh, forewarned is forearmed, I think, about the widow's yeah. penalty, right? Absolutely. All uh, right. It's a tough, it's a tough enough time uh, losing a spouse. And then, uh, you know, you got to deal with a, a widow's tax as well. So, yeah. Well, Bill, uh, thanks for sharing your knowledge about this chapter. We've got more chapters to go and looking forward to uh, more videos and articles. Uh, or more Great. Chapters. Looking forward to doing it. Thanks for having me.